Hi everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel Electro Study. This is lecture series 15, Introduction to IoT dealing with cloud computing and virtualization. Come let's go into the video. Please do like, share, subscribe and comment. Now, in this series, we will be seeing about various topics and introduction to cloud computing, what is virtualization, what is cloud models, service level agreement in cloud computing, cloud implementation and sensor cloud, sensor as a service. So these are the various topics you will be seeing in this series and you will also be covering about, I mean seeing about case study, uh, some IoT case studies that is agriculture IoT and its case studies. So now in this video we are going to see why cloud computing. Now you can see here you have an internet with a different resources like processing, storage, mining, analysis connected to different nodes. So these are called as the sensor nodes. Now the sensor nodes are nothing but each and every point which is connected to the internet. These points can be any kind of example we can take it. It may be a PC which is connected, each and every PC is, a PC is connected to a node and that node is communicated through internet for storage or processing the data. So that is known as the sensor nodes. So these nodes will have some resources like storage, mining, processing or the amount of energy it cons consumes to process the data. All those these nodes has to uh, take into consideration. So, in generally in IoT what happens is all these devices that is all these nodes are interconnected to some internet so that the data are shared and processed. So, here when you are sharing the data it is not that we are sharing only one small data. We are not handling with very small data. We are going to handle enormous data. So, when we are handling enormous data then it is a very big task. So you, you need some place to store all those enormous data where uh, in kind of a database. So there, come, there comes the word cloud computing. So this cloud computing, it, it is becoming a uh, building block of an IoT architecture. So what it happens is this just IoT architecture is nothing but it is having a memory to store uh, the data that is received from one end and it is having a processor to process the data. So the cloud computing is also same as that but it provides mo more specific uh, resources whatever from the user end whatever the user request all are allocated based on the resources required for the end users. That is why cloud computing is used. Now, this cloud computing, it is having many resources like storage, uh, n number of servers, what network it should be used, whether LAN, WAN, whatever it is. So, based on that, the cloud computing architecture is designed. Okay. So, you, uh, there, there is also a discussion what kind of software can be used for different application. So, all these your cloud service provider will take a note of it and the all the services that is resources are provided to the end user. Say suppose I need only Linux operating system and one end of end user needs only Windows 10 as an operating system. So based on the end user's choice, this cloud service provider, what it does is it takes the resources and supplements to the end user. So now the cloud service, it is accessible when it becomes a heart of the system, it can be accessed from anywhere. It is not that uh, like it is not like a LAN, only sitting at one, uh, one place you can access a LAN. WAN is a very small geographical area. Like that, it is not so. So this cloud services, what it does is it can be accessible anywhere like how we use our Gmail, Twitter, Facebook, all those. It is kind of an application which comes under the cloud computing. Right, and there are many uh, companies which uh, 
makes that is which controls the function of cloud computing say you can take an example as amazon web services or microsoft uh, microsoft azure so these are the cloud services companies which provides the resources based on the end users choice so uh, in whatsapp or facebook we you, you used to see many features upgrading day, daily day to day so all these are maintained by these companies and then here this network storage and processor servers which which the uh, what is that your cloud computing is providing it is not that it is provided for only one end users it can be used by pool of end users and all these resources can be accessed by many users it is not constrained to one user and so when when it becomes multi users the services of the cloud computing is based it come uh, comes under pay per use model that is pay per use model is it is generally like when you use windows 10 install it in your new system maybe for one month or one year there will be a license version which is provided at free of cost and after one year it will ask for paid version so it is that one one year it is providing you a free service but then if you want to continue that software then op or operating system then you have to pay and then use that model so uh, this is how your cloud computing works now if you see the uh, see the diagram you can come to a conclusion see network com computing is nothing but an user having a node where each and everything is interconnected so uh, if a user wants something it has to uh, circulate among itself and find the resources but in cloud computing what happens multi users are there which are using pooled resources there are many resources from those resources any user can access any data here only one user is accessing a particular data so this is what the difference between your network computing and cloud computing now coming under virtualization what is, what what does virtualization means so now in cloud computing we have seen that there are many resources allocated so when these resources are multiplied among that is given to many multiple end user then it is known as virtualization it is not constrained to one end user when it is shared with many multiple end user then it is known as virtualization so here in this virtualization what happens is some physical re uh, resource is actually distributed among multiple users that is windows 10 might be a physical resources which is distributed among multiple users who is using uh, using that windows 10 at the first instant so based on based on that he or she or the organization gets the resources unlimitedly a data that is provided for recharging in your atel you have unlimited data for that you pay but after paying unlimited data can be used the resource can be used so so this virtualization software what it does is it separates the software logically that is there is no conflict that is occurring between different users that is many user will be asking for many resources so there should be no scarcity of resources happening so this virtualization software it itself logically separate and make sure that all the end user is getting all the resources that is needed and here you can see the traditional desktop versus your virtualization see you have an application where you have an operating system working for that uh, application and you have a resource allocated for it now here in virtualization software you have n number of application working in a software which is using virtualization software and the resource is allocated for different application different os is uh, allocated for different up different ap application here only one application which is having one operating system all the resources will be using only that so this is the difference between your traditional desktop and virtualization desktop so now after seeing about virtualization can can, us, can we uh, brief out what are the advantages of virtualization it is easy so different softwares can be used and uh, uh, the cloud importance of cloud computing for different organization will be increased and the risk of crash of system will be obviously reduced and your cloud computing will be having a very good backup when we are using virtualization okay then when when you uh, uh, when there is a cloud service provider and end users those, those two entities among itself uh, decide what what resources has to be allocated where 
so this this uh, reduces the manpower and based on the virtualization resources are allocated to multiple user in multiple way so we we don't bother about a crash of website or whether it is uh, uh, whether it is only one user using the resources so advantages from the end users is nothing but the variety availability elasticity and portability but variety is nothing but you can see that you you can use variety of resources just that you uh, it is not that you can use only one software at one time you can use any number of software so if you are interested here i have explained you about a video editor choice so video editor is using one uh, application like film go uh, that uh, that application is used by the video editor now knowing all these features the uh, free trial is over now he it is his choice whether he can pay it or he can quit that uh, application and use some other software so there are variety of resources available for you and this availability is nothing but it is not there is no constraint constraint in using the resources the resources are unlimitedly provided for multiple user that is you recharge a, um, a net a net pack and uh, tell that it is uh, see uh, it is unlimited for 2 months or 3 months or 2 gb it is unlimited as 2 gb you can use it for one day so based on the availability the resources are unlimited and coming to portability being the availability of cloud computing services you can tell that the portability is very useful that is how see it is not that you have to sit in front of a computer at one uh, place and you have to take data so all the data are available in the cloud you can sit anywhere across the world and access the data so that is what portability means and finally elasticity means the scaling down scaling up and scaling down of resources based on payment basis if you want you can use it or if you don't want you can choose any other choice scale scalability the increase increasing or decreasing of scalability based on the resources that is needed by the user if suppose i use matlab software for designing a uh designing and implementing a circuit then i can use matlab as a free version for 10 months then throw it off matlab get into lab view i can use it for free version throw it i can use it different software so it is based on the scalability what we use for, to what we model the complete data or on what basis you model a circuit okay when you have understood this concept please stay tuned for more information also and you can see about what are the advantages how the resources utilized how the revenue is gen uh, generated if you are using cloud uh, service protocol all those things you can see uh, here i have listed out in points hope you have understood stay tuned for more information thank you